Hey guys, welcome back to Heritage Hollow Homestead. Um, today I am just trying to knock out several um, little garden projects um, while it's not raining, but there is a big storm um, pushing in right now, so I'm going to try to make this a quick video. But I am going to be finishing my bean teepees and cute, well, I'm going to be growing cucumbers on it also. Um, so I did one teepee. Um, a month or so ago and I realized I did it all wrong so I want to show you what not to do so you can learn from my mistakes and then we're going to do the other two hopefully the right way so let's go okay guys and for my teepees I'm using these are six foot cedar um, post um, sort of they're basically like what you would use for tomato steaks um, this actually came in a kit and if you can see right there at the top there's actually like a rubber um, circular um, little disc that helps hold it in place so I got um, each TP was in a kit at Lowe's for roughly ten dollars um, if you buy the post individually they're almost three dollars at tractor supply so to me it was a better deal to buy the whole kit and you get the little rubber um, topper to hold it in place so that's where I got my nap. Um, you could use um, even better would be like an eight foot, um, eight or nine foot um, post if you could get a hold of those. You might be able to buy them elsewhere that maybe like not even in the garden area. Um, so I already have those, and I'm going to take you over. What I did was I, I put them up. I decided where I wanted to put them, and you really have to put them down in the ground. And I actually built up the soil around them to help hold them in place. If you do not get your teepees down in the ground really well, they um, will just fall over every time the wind blows. The other thing that I'm going to be using is this. I bought a pack, it's like a package of three um, at the Dollar Tree. You get three in a pack at the Dollar Tree. And I have three teepees, um, so this should be enough. All right, I'm going to show you what I did wrong on the first one, okay? Okay, so over here, guys. Um, if you can tell, I wrapped the teepee all the way around, um, and I realized afterwards that was not a good idea. I'm going to have a hard time getting into my beans this way, so I'll probably come back and rewrap this um, eventually because, strangely enough, this is the one we planted beans and lettuce and stuff all under it, and something got in only this one little spot and ate everything or destroyed it. Um, so I don't know what it was. My guess is a rabbit from the looks of it. Um, so, the first thing to not do would be do not wrap your post all the way around. You want to leave one open spot, just like how a, tea, a regular TP would be, so that you can reach in and get all of your beans, okay? Um, and then the other thing that I did wrong on this, this the top is very loose, and that is the top strings, and that is because I actually started at the top wrapping and I wrapped it down. And I realized as I wrapped it was pulling, the further down I wrapped, was pulling this in tighter and making that, if you can see how loose those get when you pull it in tight, making them looser. So for the rest of them, I will be starting at the bottom when I start wrapping, okay? All right, so let's go over here and take a look at this one. You know, my neighbors always think I'm crazy for walking around with this selfie stick or whatever. They probably think I'm like super arrogant and love taking pictures of myself in the garden. I don't know. Anyway, who cares? Okay, so over here, some of my beans have already started to climb the poles. That'll be fine. Um, I'll just work around them. So I planted my beans all the way around. Oh, starting to rain already. Um, I'm going to be starting at the bottom and I'm going to like start here, wrap and when I get back to this one, I will stop and go back the other way so I can leave my opening. And I'm going to start from the bottom. Okay, guys, so, well, it has started to rain. Oh, well. Let's see if we can get through this anyway. It is just having to work between the non stop rain these last few weeks has been made us very behind on all our garden chores. So, all right. So, I'm going to tie it off at the very bottom down here. and then I will make my way around. Okay guys, so I have it tied to my post and I'm gonna move you closer and show you how I'm wrapping it around. Make sure that you're keeping your string pretty tight as you go. 
they'll really pull everything tight um, as you go up further and then um, when we get to um, where we have our space in between then we will go back around the other way okay so I'm starting out pretty low right here and I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap it around and then we'll, we will go on over to the next we'll go around to the next side obviously this would be much simpler if you were not obviously this would be much simpler if my plants were not already growing I'm a little behind on this but better late than never okay guys so I am going to be if you can tell how low down to the ground I'm about eight inches off that should be plenty um, low enough for your runners here to grab a hold of and once they get a hold of the first one they'll continue to climb okay so when I come in here I am going to be coming around even if there's a plant here in my way it'll be fine um, oh, kind of hard to do this one-handed and you'll just be pulling it tight okay and I'll come over here to my next one Ooh. I see a little guy here that doesn't need to be there. Let's see, where is he? Can you see him right here? I don't know why it won't zoom in. There we go. There he is. Hmm. Need to get him away from there. Alright, but back to our string. I've come around here. I wrapped it around. When I come over here to this one, wrap it around, and then we will come back on ourselves, and we'll come up a few inches, and then we will just go back around, and making sure to pull tight with each round, okay? Bring 
Okay guys, so that was simple enough. So you can see if we get up closer here. I've just um, went about three inches in between each one. It's not perfectly straight. It'll be fine now. I have my opening here so I can actually reach in and get my beans. And um, for my beans here that I've already started to send out their shoots, I'm going to go ahead and, and weave them in here a little bit so they can start their trellising. Now some of them are hanging, they're kind of like on the ground here and such. They really need to get up off the off the ground. Keeping all of your plants up off the ground is essential for their well-being so that they do not um, get as, as wet. They won't stay as wet. They'll get more airflow. Um, it'll reduce the risk of different types of bacteria and disease. So um, getting these up and growing as quick as possible is going to be key because otherwise your um, if you grow pole beans, like right here is the perfect example, they've already grabbed a hold of my squash plant and they are trying to, um, to get a hold of it. They will just grab a hold of whatever they can find and if they can't find anything, then they will be on me. Um, then they will um, crawl across the ground. Okay, so there is our bean teepee. Um, I hope this ooh, get down here. I hope this helped you guys. And also we planted um, lettuce, different types of lettuces under here. Our beans should grow pretty fast and that will shade out this little area instead of having that wasted growing space. We'll have some lettuce in there that we can harvest from as well. It will benefit from the shade of these beans. Hope this helped you guys. Have a good day. Bye. growing on the ground. We just got to get them all picked up here. Okay. Let's see. Those are up and going. Alright. Okay, guys. Okay guys, that's um, the basics on how you would wrap your teepee and um, some suggestions on something to grow under on the bottom part so you, that you don't have wasted space. You could also do like carrots or radishes, um, something that is a cooler weather crop that will benefit from the shade. Um, so there is our bean teepee. I hope that helps somebody out. And I just wanted to say, you know, growing wise, are these going to hold a lot of beans? Hmm. Maybe not. And they're also going to be the trellis for my cucumbers. Um, but aesthetically, they make me happy. And I love incorporating um, both the use, you know, the necessities of the garden and in with um, things that just um, make your garden more aesthetically pleasing and make it beautiful. Uh, it'll bring joy to you and um, it, and if you love coming out to your garden, you're going to be more likely to work in your garden more often. So anyway, there's our bean teepee. Have a good day.